Hi, you're listening to Community Voice FM 104.5, where dreams fail and ideas melt. This is the Midnight Hour Live, and the time now is four o'clock. And without further ado, no hesitation, or further ado, no more waiting, swear down, promise you, straight away, immediately, very soon, here we go, it's the man of the century, Rick Peterman! Rick, I've got proof it's yours. It's even got your tash. How's you? How's it going? You're all right? Smart as. Nice one. Well, once again, I'm Rick Peterman, tash magnet and all-round nice gadgy. Miles better than the average man. Obvs. And I'm back here again with you on Community Voice 104.5 FM with your weekly instalment of The Midnight Hour at four. Right. Oh, God. They're unreal. Oh, sorry. I've just caught a glimpse of my new brogues in the middle there. Anyway, back to the show. And what's on today? On today's show. I'll tell you what's on today's show. Today, we've got for you, on today's show, topical debate. This is the world. Bang to rights. Also, a new segment, Facebook status of the week, which is promising to be a good one. We've got obituary corner. With our own Jamie Somba. Uh, we've got the news again with Ava Bulletin. Always handy to know the news. Because it's the news. Keeps you in the know. Uh, on this day with Gary Decade, he's back. Plus much more really smart stuff. What you won't get on your uh, nationwide dials. Keep it unreal. Keep it local. Keep it CVFM. Facebook. It's the only place I'm known. Facebook. Because I'm always on my own. Facebook status of the week. Julia Boot from Winnie Banks has just picked the kids up from school and is making Terry his favorite corned beef and beetroot toasties. Laugh out loud. Terry on Boot likes this. Facebook! This state is brought to you by LOL, LMAO and PMSL and Sean Bean. Keep me updated since 2010. Boosh! Now we've started, and that was Facebook Status of the Week. Right, here we go, kids. Special guest time again. And this week we've got a beauty for you. We have none other than Data and Quizmaster Hero. Rick, it's only what? I've got a conundrum. Oh, what are you going on about? He hasn't turned up. Oh, what? what why? What, what? He's got stuck on here 19. Well, what's happened? Can you, can, can you get him here, please? And in the pot all and perished. Oh my word. He put something else on. He used to give me roses. I wish he could again. Hello and welcome to the obituary corner with me, Jamie Samba. This week's show is dedicated to the most famous man in the world, Richard Lightley who sadly passed away late last night. Richard is well known for well known shows like Deal or No Deal, Takeshi's Castle and obviously everybody knows Fort Boyard. There's one other show but I can't remember the name right now. He's also famous for his number one hit that reached number 12 in the charts, Unchanged Melodrome. Unfortunately, Richard has left behind an ex-wife and a stunning daughter. Mm. Well, this has been Obituary Corner with me, Jamie Somber. Remember, mourners, I'm sorry for your loss. I don't care why I didn't get it, just don't let it happen again. Do you know where I'm trying to be? I'll tell you what, you can all stuff right off if you do. Oh, are we on? Yeah. Right, oh, sorry. Uh, right, uh, that was uh, Jamie Somber. Uh, classic as always, cheered me right up. Thanks a lot, Jamie. Back next week. Now we're going to move you straight on to where uh, on this date with uh, Gary Decade. Hi, I'm Gary Decade. Today, in 1966, Soviet unmanned spacecraft Luna 9 achieved the first landing on the moon. That's totally out of this world, that like, isn't it? 
Also, in 1966, Paul McCartney sees Motown legend Stevie Wonder perform at the Scotch of St. James Club in London. It is well documented that Stevie has never repaid the favour. Selfish, that, isn't it? And also, in 1985, in the music world, Simon Le Bon of Duran Duran fame hit the biggest bum note ever recorded by man. Oof, hungry like a starving cat, more like. Thanks a lot, Gary Decades. Riverton trivia all the way. See you again next week, pal. Without a shadow of a doubt, Rick. What about that then, viewers? Eh? Simon Le Bon, 24 carat failure. Now, serious matters now pressing on. It's the news with I have a bullet in. <laughs> Hello, this is the Midnight Hour News, somewhere near four o'clock, with me, Ivor Bulletin. Today, the Great Wall of Berlin finally fell in Egypt, paving way for a fantastic new three-star Michelin night spot, the Madison. The grand opening will be held last Saturday by none other than superstar chef DJ Marco Pierre Moyles. Now here's the travel news. Hello, it's Dwayne Lemo, the eye in the sky. The M25 has a tailback of 6 metres or so. It doesn't seem to be affecting Middlesbrough, but it's affecting Middlesbrough quite bad. Also, on the M62, junction 2 and a bit, we have a jackknife chicken. <laughs> Blocking all lanes except the inside lane. And the outside one. And looking into a field on the left, the cows don't really seem to give us stuff. And finally, the highway agency has just informed me that my wife has packed the bags and could gone to Corfu with some mental lad. Oh no! Turn the mic off! John, turn this chopper around now! I mean it! Back to you, Arthur. Thank you, Dwayne. Now over to Orville Storm with the weather. Orville, what's the weather going to be like the next few days? Crap! Right, that's been the news. Thanks, Arthur. Thanks, lads. Now on to our next segment. Another new one, this. It is putting the world bank the rights with me, Rick, and a few local zeros. It's topical. It's real. It's here. It's now. It's here now. Right, then, let's uh, see if we can straighten a few things out. So, first topic up for debate, we're going to talk about job cuts and the effect job cuts has had on the region. Uh, right, so what do you think about this then, lads? Well, to be honest with you, I haven't really got no opinion on that. Thanks, Stu. What about you, little Oh, me? Yes, you. Little fella, me? Yes, you. It's in the size of us. Well, OK, a big fella, and what do you think about the job cuts? Ah, oh, you know what? I think it's absolutely terrible. I've seen not like this mm. since the Great Depression... It, there's an absolute abundance of bums. There you are. Truth from a real man's mouth. Right, Rome, what about you there, Ginger Nut? What do you think? Hey, mate, what it is, right? Proper makes me angry and uh, just feel like walking up the first person and going, BOSH! Proper sparkle, you know what I mean? I haven't got a job now. I didn't have one when there was loads of jobs anyway. BOSH! <laughs> and what about you there, mate? You with a stiff upper lip. How dare you? I work very hard for my money. How much do you want a year like, Matt? 100k. Oh, yeah, I swear down. How much have you got on, on you now? About 600 pounds. Have ya? Yes, you stupid imbecile. Bosh! Right, bosh indeed. Someone gets St. John's in with that posh get. Right, so there we are. I'm afraid time's caught up with us now, so that's it for our topical debate. Bank the rights. More of the same next week. So that brings us into the end of our show there. I'd just like to uh, remind you once again, Bandstands this weekend, the 5th of February, which is the new cabaret extravaganza show at the Crown Nightclub. Hosted by yours truly, miss it and miss out, believe me. I think you'll agree we've had a jam-packed show there. We like to call that in the businesses, blowing the roof off the mother sucker. Anyway, this has been the Midnight Hour at 4 on 104.5. Community Voice FM. If you've been tuned in today, you can only be what's called as very lucky. I've been absolutely, phenomenally unreal. 
And that's it. Back to Ricky with the sessions. There. Uh, Go cheeky ones, lads.